Nearly half a century since its launch, NASA's most traveled spacecraft, Voyager, is continuing its journey into the uncharted territories of our universe. However, there seems to be a glitch in this iconic space probe machine, causing it to send terrifying data back to Earth, leaving scientists confused. In today's video, we'll be discussing Voyager's terrifying new data sent to Earth. Now let's take that ride. For a very long time, scientists have been intrigued to learn more about the world that exists beyond our own. This fascination is what drove the launch of multiple space probes, including Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. According to the official information sheet, the Voyager 2 was the very first spacecraft to be launched, and it did so on August 20th, 1977 from the NASA Kennedy Space Center. Voyager 1, which was launched two weeks later on September the 5th of that same year, was successfully sent into space. The mystery surrounding how the two of them were able to switch roles as siblings is still a puzzle. The aggregate mass of the two spacecraft is around 720 kilograms, making them about the size of a compact car. They were both launched at the same time, during a period of time when the outer planets are in a configuration that allows spacecraft to be propelled from one planet to another by a slingshot effect. This configuration occurs during a window of time known as the launch window. Both of these spaceships were built with the intention of traveling to different planets. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 was able to pass its twin spacecraft because of the varied trajectories and speeds that it had to take because it had to go along different paths. Since that time, it has been the source that we have the utmost faith in when it comes to discovering new facts and solving puzzles about space. It was the first time a spaceship had successfully traveled across the hemisphere. When it began its imaging mission of Jupiter in 1978, it was around 265 million kilometers away from our planet Earth. During this time, it transmitted a great deal of imagery to our planet. In January 1979, Voyager 1 spacecraft began an incredible 100-hour mission during which it captured 3,750 images of Jupiter's rotation to compile a time-lapse video that would demonstrate 10 complete spins. After completing the transit of Jupiter's moon system in February 1979, the spacecraft was sent to find Jupiter's thin ring one month later. In yet another event that was the first of its type, Thebe and Metis are the names of the two new moons that were discovered by Voyager 1. It would therefore be necessary for this spacecraft to make two course corrections to get it ready for its pass of Saturn and to prevent it from colliding with one of Saturn's moons, Titan. In addition to Mimas and Enceladus, Tethys and Dione, Rhea was the fourth moon that Voyager 1 discovered while orbiting Saturn. Following the conclusion of the Voyager mission to Saturn, scientists decided to terminate the Voyager planetary mission and launch both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 beyond the boundaries of our solar system, at a rate of 325 million kilometers every year. In January of 1990, the new mission, which was eventually given the name Voyager Interstellar Mission, began its official operations for the first time. On February 19, 1999, when the distance between the Earth and the Sun was roughly 6 billion kilometers, it is widely acknowledged that the photos that were taken by the Voyager 1 spacecraft are among the most iconic in human history. In addition to the vast majority of the planets, the Sun can also be seen in these images. NASA has three other probes that can travel between stars besides Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These are Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11 and New Horizons. Before Voyager 1 passed it on February 7, 1998, Pioneer 10 was the farthest spaceship. With no other spacecraft in sight that could catch up to Voyager 1, it took another 14 years for it to get to the area between the stars on August 25, 2012. But NASA didn't tell anyone about it until 2013. November 2018 has come and gone. The Voyager 2 went through the heliopause and into interstellar space, this means that both space probes are now outside of our solar system. At the moment, Voyager 1 is about 14.5 billion miles or 155 astronomical units from Earth. 
since it has moved out of our solar system and into uncharted territory. It has kept giving us useful information that no other space probe mission has been able to find out. During most of its 45-year journey through space, the spacecraft has been in good shape. Scientists have recently noticed, though, that the way it works isn't always the same. Voyager 1 seems to have lost track of its location recently and is now sending strange signals back to Earth. But there's something scary about this whole situation. Scientists have normally programmed Voyager so that if it gets lost in space, it will either go into safe mode or sound an alarm, but it hasn't done either of those things yet. The data it has been transmitting back to Earth as of late is unclear, despite the fact that the antenna that it uses to communicate with Earth appears to be in fine condition. The Interstellar Explorer is regularly operating, receiving and acting on commands from Earth and acquiring and transmitting back science data. However, the data from the probe system for moving and directing its AACS do not reflect what is happening on board, according to a public announcement made by NASA. So what's going on on board? Just in case, each interstellar starship including Voyager 1 and 2 is equipped with a unique gold-plated 12-inch disc that contains audio and video messages. In the event that inhabitants of another planet discover the spaceship, on the disc you'll find files containing, among other things, 35 noises from Earth, 115 photos of life, 90 minutes of Western music, and greetings from previous United States residents. President Jimmy Carter and Kurt Waldheim, who served in the role of United Nations Secretary General in the past, are shown here. Also, they have been recorded in 55 different languages, so if aliens took it over, they'll probably be trying to figure out what the messages say. Scientists have, however, quickly put an end to rumours that the spacecraft is now being run by aliens. The AACS is a part of how Voyager works. For one thing, its antenna is always aimed at Earth, so scientists can get information quickly. It also tells the spaceship which way to go. At the moment, engineers who are keeping an eye on the situation think that the AACS is working as it should, which adds to the mystery we already have. Also, none of the safety systems that were set up to keep the spacecraft safe from danger has been set off. This kind of mystery happens all the time. In a statement, Voyager 1 and 2 project manager Susan Dodd said, At this point in the Voyager mission, both of the spaceships are almost 45 years old, which is much older than what the mission planners expected. Also, Susan Dodd says that the engineers working on Voyager 1 will have to deal with some big challenges as they try to fix the problems. We are so far away from the space probe that it is almost impossible to send a rescue mission. It is so far away that messages sent from Earth at the speed of light take nearly 21 hours to reach their current location. This means that two-way communication between Earth and the spacecraft takes an average of two days. In another statement, NASA says, Until we know more about what's going on, the team doesn't know if this could change how long the spacecraft can collect and send science data. Still, Susan Dodd and the engineering team think that the problem will be solved if it can be fixed with the AACS. Maybe the problem will be solved soon and Voyager will be able to get back to its best. But no matter what will happen, we can be thankful as this well-known space probe has already done its job.